Hi again, welcome to the Garage on Pierre. This short video about uh, do the autopsy of this pump. This is a drain pump that I changed from my washing machine a few days ago and uh, just by doing good uh, forensic work sometimes we can uh, just find out how and why it broke and uh, manufacturers will use this to make better products sometimes and also the users to to avoid sometimes uh, a usage that will lead to um, let's say failure or just you know breakage or whatever um, this pump is used by many uh, many manufacturers like Anno Amana, Kenmore, uh, Maytag, Whirlpool and maybe some more but anyway uh, standardizing the products and using the same the same products uh, will help uh, manufacturers keep costs down and save money oh I knew you're not saving the money they save the money but don't make me wrong so let's go see uh, how and why it broke and maybe what could be changed to prolong the life of this pump. This is the type of pump that's mainly used in Amana, Admiral, the Whirlpool, you know, many many closed washing machines use this uh, very similar pump to this. So they're most most likely compatible to one another. And uh, the way it works, pretty easy. This little tank here is used as a, some kind of a streamer filter. The water gets in there from from the tub gets into this streamer filter gets in there will go underneath there comes back up there and eventually into the uh, holes there to go into the inlet the pump this has been used uh, and it, it died and uh, we'll, we'll see exactly in a few seconds why it did okay uh, let's just get this out of there I already dismantled it before so uh, this part there is pretty been true that's it um the way it works is a uh, let's take this cover this protective cover off this is a element there that's going to be uh, directly connected on the uh, ac voltage here in canada we got 120 volts so they w this will induce 120 volts opposite field there to eventually activate y this just is this been undone before but uh, this will activate uh, this is magnetic this uh, part there is uh, magnetic so the polarity oops <laughs> it's alive the polarity changing in there with the uh, polar pieces on each side of the uh, rotor there will make the pump turn without being in contact with it be without being in contact with water or whatever just uh, that's about the the way they all work. A little bit like the aquarium pumps. Okay, now this thing, this thing broke. Normally, this area there is sealed. No water goes in there. See uh, now, let's see why it's been in there. Um, <coughs> the the pump will, you know, the the stream will, you know, stream most of the stuff that will go into the pump, and normally nothing's supposed to get there, but. Um, Let's see how, see the wear pattern on this thing here. Let's say we see uh, the way it's been worn. This should be, you know, pretty even there, like a, an even surface. And uh, this little impeller there stands on the uh, these parts there. And it's come kind of a hollow a little bit inside. Here you go. The inside is bigger. The inside is bigger than the, the actual parts there. So if a part gets through and hits hard enough it will eventually like goes but uh, okay that's about the way it was I'm not pushing it back in because I'm gonna have trouble c taking it out but uh, see how crooked this uh, impeller went by uh, you know just being hit probably by some part going right through the part there was rubbing on this stationary part there and wearing out so the impeller was going all directions all crooked and everything so let me just pull these things out okay and we'll see a little further about this this hole there should be much smaller than this and uh, see how uh, deformed it is i mean that's part of the problem where uh, the seal that is here and this seal goes right in there it doesn't allow 
after a while, you know, not uh, not being straight and just being pulled in all directions, it will allow water to get into the uh, cavity here, which water is not allowed to get there. So eventually, it will. The shaft should be. Let me let me get uh, close enough. This shaft should be cylindrical all the way right down to the end, and uh, just by looking at it, we see uh, we see that it's obviously been eaten up more on one side than the other in different areas where the uh, rubbing on the uh, plastics plastics can be pretty hard too, and the other end too by just uh, shifting around all the time, you see that uh, this direction. If I turn, it is going to be like two flat sections here. This is this is thin, and if I go and I turn around, this direction is thicker. So, and that should be all cylindrical I right down to the end. So this shaft been worn. This uh, this end of the shaft just been like uh, mangled a little bit due to the uh, fact that the impeller was kind of running obviously very crooked let the water in there start to leak and eventually just uh, got so loose that it wasn't it wasn't going to be uh, working anymore that's about uh, that's about how a pump just died and uh, if you want to get those at a decent price you got to shop because normally they will sell you these like a few hundred bucks you know if you get the uh, distributors and the uh, manufacturers I know they got to make money, but uh, I mean, you got to make a living too. And just uh, best thing you can do, do your homework, shop, because uh, you can get those from $200 to down maybe $30. Just also check for shipping, sh shipping charges and uh, and don't get uh, some. Some people offer them used. Uh, I suggest you don't uh, you don't go for that. So buy them new, buy them inexpensive, do, do your uh, homework, do the shopping and uh, you'll eventually get uh, a good pump. Be careful of uh, what you send into the drain because this can cause you know the pump to fail very much uh, prematurely. Yep, as incredible as it can seem, this is what uh, was in the uh, dra drainage filter. Two dollars and fifty-three cents in change. Uh, this could I could still accuse my wife there, but she doesn't wear. Uh, jeans with pockets so she has a wallet for her money and she doesn't wash her wallet so even there it's hard to accuse her but uh, when you get to see nuts and bolts little pieces of a uh, something pieces of the metal there washers little piece of stick uh, these are carbide inserts I'll show you uh, I'll show you what they look like uh, now and uh, what they you know there was they were supposed to be brand new I was looking for them though. <laughs> See this big insert there. Check. Uh, let's see closely. Check the corners on them. Let me see if I can focus on this. I guess you can see the yeah. I guess you can see pretty good the corners on them. They're all chipped, and uh, these haven't been on late yet. They've just been on the in in the washing machine. So. Uh, tough life for an insert in the washing machine before y before you put your clothes in the washing machine just check because you can uh, cause your pump to uh, really get uh, you know killed prematurely that's not a good uh, that's not a good sign so that's it that's how it works that's how uh, how it died thanks for watching